Good morning, good morning, good morning. Is it a good morning? I mean, it's a great morning. Good morning, <laughs> everybody. What do you have in your hand? Oh, man, I have an awesome piece of hose with uh, some metal connections, and this may, this may be a replacement hose for when I broke Uber yesterday. <laughs> he broke Uber, guys. Dang. He broke Uber. <clears throat> so what happened? So what happened was I was clearing all the brush up over down on Drifter's Lane in the beginning of the landing, and I guess when I scooped it up with the, with the claw, one of the branches got caught up underneath the hydraulic hose and cut it on the end. So it didn't actually blow and oil or hydraulic fluid didn't get everywhere, but it was leaking pretty good. And uh, so yeah, that needed to be replaced. So that's number two yeah, for the Dreamers the Landing. <laughs> The project on Dreamers Landing is number two. See guys, this hose right here was replaced a couple of days ago. This is the same exact hose on the yep. other side. It exploded right here. Right there, it just exploded. It didn't get hit. It didn't do nothing like that. It just literally exploded right there at the fitting. So now we're gonna watch Mike fix Uber. Luckily, hydraulic lines are actually pretty easy as far as uh, putting them together. When you can get to them. True. Yeah. If it's, Some of it's these supposed. longer lines, <laughs> he's saying it's easy because the only hydraulic line he's ever replaced is this little one right here. Hey, oh, that's that's not a fact. Not a fact? That's not a fact. Actually, uh, my buddy Gary with Junk to Gems 3 used to work uh, for a company that specifically uh, did like septic tanks and stuff like that. And he worked on all their heavy equipment. So I've actually taken tractors and bulldozers and pulled every hydraulic line off of it and replaced them all so it yeah. it i mean now when you do stuff like that it is kind of yeah difficult. it's different right it's, yeah it's a it all depends on where where they're where they're in line yeah and luckily look at that that's going to be a super super easy fix yeah i love how people talk about stuff being super easy before they even do it and then they get jinxed don't <laughs> get jinxed mike <laughs> don't get jinxed and of course rider <laughs> it's up, definitely buddy? coming to check out I sees that we're over here working and then we have Snoopy over there on her table <laughs> Look at Snoop. I put a little windbreak over there for her for when she's in the day and she loves to sit on top of the table like Snoopy guys see <laughs> it's funny now fun fact when I was a little little tyke Oh, little kid. Snoopy was my favorite uh, character. Yeah. And now I have a husky that thinks that she's Snoopy. Um, she loves sitting on top of the table. So I left it up. Whenever uh, it's windy and stuff like that, or she's got plenty of shade over there. But uh, she still likes laying up underneath the table in the hot of the day. And then uh, it, in the mornings and the evenings, she likes to sit on top of the table. Yeah. <laughs> crazy you tightening it up or is it already done yeah uh, it's actually just a couple of turns you hand tighten it with your fingers and you don't really want to crank down on these too much you don't want to strip the threads out or anything make sure it's good hand tight give it a little extra bump she's ready to go again she's ready to go check her uh, fluid levels she didn't leak that much i didn't even actually realize it was leaking until i seen the front up here it was kind of sparkling and i was like wait a minute uber's dusty right now we ain't supposed to be sparkling <laughs> yeah yeah, Uber's uh, Uber's gonna get some love after your your project here. Yeah. Up Uber, next, let's check the levels though. Uber got beat up pretty bad with all the clearing that we did down there. Another fun fact, guys, we have cleared more on Dreamers Landing than we have on Come <laughs> On Mountain at this point. So here's our transmission oil which is also the same place where we put all the hydraulic fluid at and this is going to be the dipstick which the dipstick they got it makes it very difficult to see the fluid i'll show you look at that oh wow you basically gotta do it by fill okay okay i felt like they could have used a different color or something yeah, heck yeah. Eclipse sees us out here. She's, she's wanting to go for a walk. Yeah, we need some. It's a, 
it's down closer to the bottom level down here. Yeah, time to put some in. That's not it. Well, you could do it from there. There's actually a place right there's your transfer breather. You can put it in there as well. Let me go get a funnel. I got the, uh, the oil over there. I got to go get it real quick. We got to in the front or in the back? In the front. Also, yesterday, Country Road Cure came over. And we worked on the golf cart and the plumbing. And we got skunk, guys. It did not go as planned, unfortunately. Uh, it ended up being that the whole rear axle assembly, transmission, everything on the uh, golf cart has to be replaced. So I ordered that, and my God, it was pricey. Um, so that'll be coming here in a week or two. And uh, so that we gotta we gotta change out that whole axle, the whole axle, the transmission, the brake stuff all of it i ended up having to take the torch and cut the whole hub off um the hubs were locked up which in turn i think is what ended up uh burning up the transmission so yeah the golf cart is going to be down for a minute another thing that i've been getting some questions about is the jeep and why don't i drive the jeep the Jeep is now fixed, guys. Uh, I took it to the shop. I got it back. Uh, they actually called me whenever I was in Florida. And uh, the day I got to Florida and told me the Jeep was ready, I had it in the shop before I left. And so when I got back, I went up there and uh, got the Jeep out. They ended up having to put a new air conditioner on it. And uh, a couple other little things. Ended up uh, being about $1,000. Yeah but she's running she's good to go i'm just waiting on the title because in the move uh to come on mountain there for the drifting dreamers somewhere the title got uh misplaced and florida makes it very very difficult to get titles basically you have to print out this form you can't do it digitally like you can in most places you have to print out a form fill it out then send it by mail to the DMV in Florida, and then they send you your title like a couple of weeks later. And uh, Mike and them actually sent off for it and was waiting on it and never did get it. And then uh, they ended up calling back and come to find out they're saying they never received the letter to begin with. So it's a very flawed system with uh, technology and stuff the way it is now with PDFs and being able to sign uh, documents and stuff with Adobe and all kinds of docu signs and all that other stuff. It makes no sense to me why it is still on such an analog system like that. So, yeah, basically, just drive to Florida to a DMV and get it, or go through the whole whole mission of that. And uh, so that's why I'm not driving the Jeep right now. It is running. It is good to go. It is ready, but. Until I can get it uh, in my name with a tag and insurance and everything else, I'm not driving it. So, um, that's why it's sitting. So, my goal is to get everything in this yard fixed. I got the Jeep fixed now. Tractors are good. Um, working on the golf cart. I chose the golf cart before the four-wheeler just because I think the golf cart will be a better tool for the mountain. Um, just just for a lot of reasons now that the uh drifting dreamers there are moving down to the landing they're a lot further away so it gives me something i can just jump in and run down there and grab them or take them something if they need it because i promise you it's no longer a three minute walk <laughs> yeah it's a lot longer now, they use the e-bikes yeah. um, that y'all seen on their channel and uh, i don't have e-bikes and also uh whenever the kids get up here and it's time for uh school and stuff like that running them to the bus stop and stuff i could just kind of jump on the golf cart put them on there and kind of roll out as long as the weather's decent oh, so i forgot about this filter or this, uh, yeah so that is why i chose to go ahead and fix the golf cart even though it's costing me a little bit of jangle to say the least so i'm going to go ahead and get that fixed and then after that will be probably the boat and then the four-wheeler the boat mainly just because uh 
it's summer <laughs> and I'd like to get the boat uh actually good to go you hear Odin over there? yeah he's excited about something Getting breakfast here let me hold that for you we need to get one of those things that uh where we could pour like a gallon in oh yeah and do it a little at a time huh? yeah yeah let's do that because holding up five gallons trying to pour it i see a mess happening yeah especially with me i'm not a real i'm not what you would call a strong guy you're not a strong man <laughs> not a strong man i give it all she's got captain i also got the lawnmower out it ain't been crunk in a year so i feel i dumped uh that old gas out of it check the oil all of that so i'm gonna try to get that crunk hopefully the carburetor don't need to be cleaned and it'll just crank up because as you can see it's time to cut the grass it's starting to get a little high over there as far as the golf cart uh saga goes it will be on country road cure i believe friday but uh my next video will probably show the all the hubs cut off and all the other stuff and also the bathroom uh the bathroom we got to working on it and we had every piece that we needed but one so i had to go to lowe's last night and get some more pieces of pecs and i was gonna need more anyways for the project so i went ahead and grabbed all of that but why i was in town guys i grabbed something else let me show you Woo, we got a toilet <laughs> We got a toilet, guys. Yeah. So, went ahead and got the toilet and everything that I need for it. And now that I got the pieces that I need to do all the plumbing, the main part that we was missing was a, was a T to come out of the main pump right there to the three-quarter inch pecs and be able to branch it off. We had T's that was like a reducer down to a half inch, but we didn't have three quarter to three quarter, and that's kind of what we needed. So I went ahead and picked that up and a couple other different things, and I'm gonna start working on the plumbing. Today, I'm going to try to finish Drifting Dreamers. Uh, yesterday, he was down there cutting up the last of the trees. I told him just go ahead and cut them down, and I'd dig the stumps up. And uh, he's not too good with digging stumps and stuff yet. He's Still kind of new to the tractor game and uh, digging stumps and stuff. Man, listen. Uh, it's easy, ain't it? So easy. It was so easy that uh, that the little stumps, I would say, I don't know, six inches around, so easy that it only took me like 30 minutes to get two of them. Yeah. <laughs> so he decided to pull off of that Yeah. and uh, wait for old uncle to go down there and jump on over. there's got to be an easier way than what I was doing. Yeah. It, it just comes with uh, experience. And knowing how to read the root systems and stuff like that and where to dig and all of that other yeah, stuff. Yeah, because I was, I figured, you know, we got the big claw. Yeah. Just get it low. I've watched you put it in the dirt. You get up under there, you pop it up a couple times. Boom, right? Pops yeah. it right up. Yeah, right. Yeah. Man, it was like. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah. And some of those smaller stumps will surprise you because they're sweet gums or whatever. And they don't just pop up. So. Yeah, that's what they were. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go down there this morning. Um, he's got a delivery this morning. I'm not going to spill no beans. I don't know if he has on his channel yet I or not. I haven't actually. Yep. We're going to be talking about to that yep. today on our STS. So he's got a delivery today. So we need to uh, get the stumps up. And uh, it's pretty exciting. I wouldn't pour too much to start with. All right. Just to see how much we need. Okay. Mess around. Then you'll have to pour half a gallon back into the bucket. to get back around here to hold the funnel, guys. This is a little bit of everything today for you guys. It's a, a working one, a spilling bean one. A, mm. Yeah. Get to see Snoopy. She's still over there jumping on her thing and jumping off. That's her little playhouse. Yeah. Check it. Check it. Check it, check it. It should be what up to the second line? Yep.
Not yet. Did it? Where is it at on the line? It, it barely, it barely moved. Just fill that thing all the way up. She's a little thirsty here. She has had two hydraulic leaks. Yeah, and we didn't add any after that first leak. It didn't need it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we checked it. I checked it. That's when we bought more hydraulic flood. Yep. <laughs> yes, I said flood. Flood. I have a hard time pronouncing fluid, so I just say flood. <laughs> it's that southern twang. Twang. I was gonna buy one of those uh, two and a half gallon of oil things, but uh, they wanted forty something dollars for it. So I said no, thank you. I got a fly on my finger. Just another day in Arkansas. <laughs> Some people would think it's cool to have a fly finger. Yeah, <laughs> not me. And there's your corny joke of the day. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Go ahead and check it. That should be good though. Those are my favorite jokes. Corny, corny dad jokes are my yep. favorite ones. Yep. Uh, this fly's trying to hang out with me like a hair in a biscuit. Yeah, look at all. I got my hands full. I still got so much clearing to do out here, guys. It is unreal. Are we good? We're good. Yep. Nice. All right, guys. It's been about 17 minutes. I think we're going to go ahead and end this. Go ahead and get Uber fired up and warmed up. That way I can go ahead and get down there to the... What are y'all calling the road? The road is Drifter's Lane. Drifter's Lane. I got to go down there and put some work in on Drifter's Lane today. And then uh, the, our home... Dreamer's Landing. Okay. Well, I can't wait for the Dreamers to land. <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> it is coming very soon. Uh, this project I was hoping was only going to take Uber out the game for about two or three days. And between weather and uh, hydraulic hoses and all of that, it's been about a week and a half. Yeah. So, uh, I got pretty big project up here waiting on come on mountain for uh uber i gotta get that septic tank dug so i can get it set and uh today's the last day with uber down there so yeah. yesterday would have been the last day yeah i would have had everything done yesterday if i wouldn't have cut that hose well that okay maybe not because uh i did still have there are quite a few stumps to dig up yeah he wasn't gonna be done yesterday. <laughs> But it looks like we've been fortunate. It was supposed to rain today, and it looks like the weather's going to be good until tonight. So we should be able to get down there and get those up. So one more day on the landing, and then I can get my butt back up here on Come On Mountain and uh, get it done. That's why I started working on the bathroom, and the inside of the bathroom, and the golf cart. Because with the rain and everything, I wanted to at least keep things moving forward. Um... I did get the bathroom cleaned out, all of that, and started on the plumbing, but didn't get nowhere. So It looks like a whole brand new uh, tiny house on the inside after you yeah. went in there and cleaned it. Yeah. So, I also would like to go ahead and paint the floors and stuff while I got it emptied out. So, got a lot going on. And uh, trying to work around Mother Nature while I do it. So, uh, But the big thing is the septic tank. I, I need to get that septic tank done. And uh, I got the septic tank people on hold right now, so I'm sure they're ready to... Uh, get their part done as well so you got to get it going so you know how it is sometimes a project you think it's only going to take a day or two ends up it was a lot more clearing than i was expecting that junk was thick yeah thick 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 and it was a lot deeper than what it seemed when you're walking it now that we got the driveway done <laughs> it's like a half a mile back there guys yeah. it's crazy it's with all the twists and turns drive. it's like a half a mile it's at least a quarter of a mile for sure all right, guys. Ooh, we done went, jumped up to 20 minutes now. Yeah. All right, it's time for us to get off here. I hope everybody has a Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday today. Hump day. hump day. I hope everybody has an amazing hump day, guys. Mike, Mike. Work hard towards your goal today. Make a step closer to whatever goal it might be, whether it be getting your pantry uh, situated or uh, making steps to come live this lifestyle. Come That's on. Right. So until we see each other again, guys, come on. Keep it real.